this video, I want to go through the process of getting your programs and sectors set up for 2018. So um, the process here is pretty simple. What you need to do is create an untimetable class. And you can see when I'm in sector here, as long as I've got untimetable classes selected at the bottom of the page here, you've got this plus sign here. So if I select that plus sign, you can not select any student because no students are going to be involved in this. You will put the subject in. So let's say the subject that I'm looking to uh, do is uh, modern history. So if we just start typing in the words. So this is the class that I want to do. So modern history ATAR, it's a year 11 course. Uh, the timetable period will be this timetable period. So in this case, 2017 semester two senior school. Uh, the staff member will leave as me. The number you could put um, 2018 in there or whatever you like, just so that you can identify it. Um, and then just click on save. So what that does, is creates this untimetable table class here sitting at the bottom. I can go back and edit any part of that if I want to. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach, by loading the list of programs, I'm going to attach that class. So here's the program I'm looking for. I've just searched for modern history and this is the program that's attached to the current class, the 2017 class. And what I'm going to do is copy that class across to the new untimetable class that I've just created. So here it is here. That's the one. I can remember the code I made, dash 2018, and I'm going to make a copy, not share, copy. Yes, and OK. Now there is a program attached to this new untimetable class, and it is the program from the 2017 class. Now, it is a copy of the program, which means that I can now go in, I can change the outline, I can change anything that I want in any of the uh, structures here, in any of the planning, I can get rid of the things that I want to, uh, work on the cover page to get it look exactly as I want to, and none of this will affect the current 2017 program that I'm working on. The benefit of this is, of course, that you're not interfering with the current program, and when we come to 2018, when you get a new class, you would go in and you would look for this class, this program here that I've worked on. So perhaps the best thing to do to start with, because it is a, here it is here. Perhaps the first thing to do when you go in here is change the name of it. So this one here, Modern History ATAR, Year 11, 2018. Then you know clearly, when you look at this, uh, when you look at this one here, you'll know exactly which one it is you're attaching to the new class in 2018, which we'll go through. So that's just a method that you can go through to uh, get ready for 2018 with your sector courses.